<laughs> okay, so I just want to first say thank you all for being here, especially our authors. Um, my name is Leona Martin, and I am the chair of the Brockton NAACP Education Committee. Um, and I wanted to first, like I said, I want to thank you. I also want to thank members of my committee who are here, uh, Steve Thomasy, Michelle Henson, Kavana Jones, who else is here? I don't see any others here. Um, who? Oh, Renesa, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just been so excited about this because we, and, and Karima Lewis, where are you? Yes. Um, so. You know, I just to give you a little bit of background and what inspired us to want to do this, we had been talking about this for a couple of years now. Um, and we were thinking about, okay, where would we do it? How many people would we invite? And just talking about a whole lot of things. And finally, I just said, you know what, let's just do it. You know, we'll start small. And if it goes well, we'll grow it. We'll make it an annual event. So I'm just so excited that we did this. We're here today and that all of you are in the room. Um, so I'd like the, the, the audience to kind of give the authors a hand because I'm so glad that they came out because we may not have been here if Lee had his way. Notice I said he. <laughs> so I want to give the authors a round of applause. And thank them for being here. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite our president of the Brockton NAACP branch to come and say a few words. Phyllis a Ellis. A few words. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Leona. Um, like she said, I'm Phyllis Ellis, president of the Brockton Area Branch in ACP. I am so proud of our education committee, Leona Martin is chair, because they brought this wonderful event together. We have never had this before. Hopefully it will be an annual thing. I mean, when, when do we get black authors to come in and talk about their books to sell them? We don't have that. Reading is fundamental. We need this, you know, in our schools and everywhere else. So I am glad you are here. Please interact with all the authors and please buy their books okay I know I'm gonna buy a couple mm -hmm. I just I was on the phone a little while ago with my grandkids come down here you would not be disappointed so they're on their way as well so enjoy and we also have raffles we'll be raffling off books later on in the evening so if you do not have a raffle ticket already come up and see me and I will give you one so enjoy thank you you know what one other thing I wanted to just say before we open up the floor to offer the authors to say a few words about themselves is one of the things that the Brockton School District has done is they've set a goal to have the children in the district to be at 90 percent proficiency I believe it is for reading well we don't think that's good enough we want our kids to be at a hundred percent you know, so that's another reason and, and you know why this inspired us because like Phyllis said, reading is fundamental, reading is knowledge. You know, we wanna make sure that our kids in this district get books that reflect stories of people who look like them because we don't always see and get that. With all of these book bins going on across the country, you know, we've gotta keep bringing these books in, providing them to our children, because in Massachusetts, I just pray that we don't have to worry about books being banned, but you just don't know. 863109. Okay. 863 
Hi, I am Sofia Desmuernes, and I am the author of the children's book, I Know Who I Am. It is all about self-esteem building and all about empowering our youth to shout to the world who they are. It's filled with affirmations. It uses rhyme from A through Z. Um, it has beautiful illustrations. just to give you an idea. And it just takes readers on a journey. Um, if you have young children in your life, children that you want to inspire, um, that you want to help build their self-esteem, this is definitely a book to have. Thanks. So my name is Michael Turner. I'm not the one who published the book, but I helped my friend Loa Kasamo publish it. Um, my background is a lot in writing, whereas his is as a nurse practitioner but we both recognize and work in healthcare and we understand the disparities in terms of how it affects the black community as well as other minority communities. And so we wanted to create a book which would both dispel some of the misconceptions regarding the nursing practitioner profession along with other medical professions to convince people that it's not just something that's only for women or that it's emasculating to be a nurse and we want to promote more people of color to consider these professions as something which is viable and not just think of it as, oh, well, the only way to be in medicine is to be a doctor. There are a lot of other facets that go into caring for a community and for a patient. And so we want to provide that education while also providing young people um, more options in terms of their future and their ambitions and also provide some health pearls along the way to teach kids basic hygiene and things of that nature so that they can live a better, more healthier life. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Soraya Presume Kalikt. I'm the founder of a nonprofit organization called SPACE, Support Program for Adolescent and Community Enrichment. And I'm here because I was invited to come to a book fair um, from the NAACP. And first of all, I do want to thank God for this opportunity because I know without him, I would not be standing here before you. I also want to thank um, Sharon Walder as well as um, Ken Watts, um, Leola Martin, who actually taught of me to be part of this event. I'm an author of so many books, but the one that I like the most is The Power of Fear, because too often fear hinders us from being who we are for what we have been called to, to greatness and being the agent of change that I believe that we are. And I also believe that each one of us holds a piece of the puzzle. And the way that I'm contributing to your life, to my life on a daily basis, because it's a process, is by writing those books, sharing my story, and tell people that you still have to hold on to hope, because we cannot afford to live without hope. We cannot afford to live without faith. And Mwembel, it is one of the, the, the stories that I enjoy, because I help children, or even myself, reminding myself that I've been blessed. I am beautiful. Mwembel, it's a Haitian word. But in English, you say, I'm beautiful. It is rich, written in different languages, English, Creole, Spanish, and Portuguese, but most likely in Asian Creole. So whomever is listening to, this, to my story right now, if you want to know more, you can get those books at Barnes & Noble as well as um, Amazon. Thank you so much for having me. And BCTV, I salute you for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Glenette Scott. And I am thrilled to be part of the Brockton NAACP Book Fair for this year. It's a wonderful event. And I am the author of a book, The Day I Marched with Martin, A Day to Remember. And it's an account of when I was 11 years old and my father took my sister and me to the march that was the only one held in the Northeast, and that was in Boston. And um, it's my account of when I was 11 in that wonderful, um, wonderful day. And it's a historical event, so this book is good for history, and it's also just a nice account of um, a memory that I shared. So, I hope you enjoy. If you ever have a chance to pick it up and read it, here it is. Hello everyone, my name is Miranda V. Peterson. I am an author, illustrator, voice director, and animator. Um, and today I'm here to promote my new series, The Evap Prince. Um, it follows the story of Brent. Um, he starts out as a kid, but then later on in the series he ages. Um, to about the age of 18. So it follows him and he is a half a bat, half Arcanian boy in the world of the Arcanian Empire. But because he is half a bat, he is considered part of the slave class and no one really cares about him. No one wants to know who he is or what he's 
up to, but they don't realize that he is actually their best shot at getting rid of their crazy, war-hungry emperor. So there's a lot of suspense, a lot of drama, a lot of action. Um, one fun fact about the books that I published are that they are hybrids, so some of the books have illustrations in them um, and also uh, comic book inserts. Uh, but whenever you reach an illustration page, um, you will see a little footnote on the page that says TV. Um, so when you reach a, uh, the end of a sentence and it says TV at the end, you're prompted to go and scan the QR code and that will bring you to an animated skit where you can see the characters interact and talk about what's going on in the book. Um, so they are fully voice acted animated skits um, and the characters just discuss what's going on, what they want to do next, um, or anything else that's happening in the story. Um, so that's a lot of fun. We also have uh, free episodes on our YouTube channel. You can look us up on there, HMVP TV on YouTube and you can watch our free skits, spoiler free. Uh, so you don't have to worry about being spoiled on the main story, but that is The Avat Prince. And again, I'm Miranda V. Peterson, and I really hope that you check out what we're doing because it's a lot of fun and the actors are amazing. So thank you very much. Hey, how's it going? So my name is Clay McKenzie. I'm the author and illustrator of the comic book series Rift. It's a sci-fi comic about an inventor named Adam Riff. He lost his daughter in space. So he's trying to go into space and rescue her. He teams up with a group of super-powered aliens, and he goes to different planets. He goes to different um, dimensions and stuff like that, trying to rescue her. And I write these books myself, and I draw them myself. And I just want to inspire young people who are also into this kind of stuff to show them, like, hey, you know, this is something that's very possible for you. You just have to make sure that you keep at it every day. It's just about consistency. Every single day, you're going to show up a little, you know, up or down, it's a roller coaster, but if you keep at it, you can make anything happen with your life. And that's my mission statement. So thanks for having me, and uh, make sure you get a copy, riffanime.com. Hi, my name is Rachel Cherry Adams, and I am an author. I live here in Brockton, Massachusetts. I have written two books, and I am on my third book right now, writing. Um, my first book, Embrace a New Life with a View, I was um, going through the onset of my grieving process of my husband of 30 years, and also uh, it, it was the start of the pandemic, and I was approached by a pastor friend of mine who was starting a, a writing curriculum. And so I joined them, and I found out I was an avid journaler. And I had been journaling for over 30 years. And part of the first book, uh, Embrace a New Life, uh, came from those writings over the 30 years. Uh, so it, writing to me is a gift from God. And what I write is prose, praise prose, which means the prose part of it means meaning that it's written in uh, everyday language that you can understand and it has a poetic touch to it. My second book, Baby Girl, Facing My Beautiful Self, is a memoir that I wrote uh, pertaining to my going into a foster home at age eight and some of the aspects that came out of that uh, in regard to today, me being transformed and having hope, and I can smile and feel good that I came through it, and I'm hoping that whoever reads Baby Girl, that they will get some hope from it as well. Uh, please be waiting for my third book that's coming out soon, which, which will entail though, how I got through my grieving process of my late husband. And it's full with a whole lot of hope, and I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Excel Obodu. I'm the author of this amazing book, Friendship and Forgiveness. I want to invite all of you to, to buy this book on Amazon. Also reach out to World Inspirational Foundation, Inc. to to help your kids learn more about inspiration. And they have an inspirational pro creative writing program, cr program that will help your kids learn how to write and it's all free. Thank you. 
Uh, hi, my name is Chasa Wodu. I'm the founder of World Leadership and Inspirational Foundation. Uh, our focus is to encourage kids to build leadership and creative writing skills. Register your kids. Every kid in our mentoring program is a potential author. We ask for support to build this foundation because we strongly believe that these young kids will be our leaders in the future. And the quality of our investment in them today will determine the quality of policies they will make when we become old. Uh, we can't wait to see you signing up your kids. The program is free, but sponsors are welcome. Thank you once again. It is a great thing to be at this event, NAACP, Brockton area, year 2023. We hope to be here next year. Bye. Hello, my name is Joy, and I am one of the mentees at the World Leadership and Inspirational Foundation, and I present to you this book, How to Love My Siblings. This book is on Amazon, and it is for any child who wants to learn about love and how to have that better relationship with your siblings. Please go to Amazon and get your copy. Um, and I'm really happy to be here at the Black Authors Book Fair at the Enzo Art Gallery in Brockton. Thank you so much for having me here. And I can't wait for you to start reading. Bye. Hi, I'm Aurelia Scombs. I'm the author of A Day in the Life of Jalen. Um, my son is co-author. We decided to write this book to raise awareness about autism. Um, Jalen is nonverbal and is going to turn 20 tomorrow. And we've been in this journey for a long time. And we wanted to share with folks what it is to be autistic in the community. Because we got a lot of stares and a lot of looks, and we were saying to ourselves, it's time to educate the community more about autism. And so, even though he's nonverbal, he's able to communicate through his smile, through his emotions, through his facial expressions. And if you see in the book, it shows the ways he's able to speak. Just want to read a couple of pages. My name is Jalen. I have autism. I'm unable to speak. Sometimes I laugh. Sometimes I cover my ears to block the noise. Sometimes I walk back and forth. So you'll see sometimes kids out on the community doing these things. Sometimes I jump. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I wave. Sometimes I yell. Sometimes I dance. Sometimes I sing. This is my way of speaking. When I look at you with my big brown eyes and smile, that is all I need to do. This is my way of speaking to you. So please grab a copy of our book. It's on Amazon. It's also on Walmart, Barnes and Nobles. And please be an autism warrior and help us raise awareness and in our community. Thank you. My name is Arthur the Pina, the author of Unlocking Your Credit, which is a financial literacy book that helps you basically guide you through the United States credit, understand it, leverage it, and even repair your own credit if you have less than perfect credit. What inspired me to write this book is basically I was lacking some financial literacy as growing up, which led to this book. This book is packed with information about credit scoring system, the different credit scoring system, how even to budget your own money. So looking forward to hear some feedbacks about the book. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Colleen Roberts, and I'm an author. Uh, I've been writing pretty much since I learned to write in the first grade. So it wasn't any certain inspiration I just found I love to write stories. I love stories. So as I got older, of course, the stories got more sophisticated and 
And then when I got into young adulthood, I, I always had a dream to see my work in print. And this is just one of the books, book I'm selling today. It's called Rise, A Dream Deferred. And it's part of a series of books that I've written. And I, so I decided to self-publish. And I found that that's been very successful for me is that um, being able to uh, get the books published, get them in this form, and then sell them. So they're a lot, lot easier to sell if I have them in the right form. So I am I'm delighted to be a writer, delighted to be able to tell stories, and hope that, and I write stories mostly about families and struggles they might have, and and uh, and they're all and all the stories are faith based, so I I just enjoy stories, and I hope you'll look one of my books up. This one is called This is Book One: A Rise, A Dream Deferred, and they're all on Amazon. So, thank you. Hi, my name is Leona Martin, and I'm the education chair for the Brockton. NAACP, um, and we're here today at Enzo Gallery uh, celebrating black authors today. Um, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. We've had people coming and going. We've had some nice refreshments. We've had some raffles, and people were just genuinely excited and happy to be here. Um, people are purchasing books and asking when we're gonna do this again. So we're grateful, we're happy, glad that we made this happen, and we hope to make this an annual event. So look for us again. And would any of my committee members wanna? Hi, uh, I'm Steve Thomasy. I'm on this uh, education committee and AACP. I do want to uh, say a few words in praise of Leona. Uh, her persistence in pursuing this. I mean, there's many, many layers, getting in touch with all these people, following up, visiting them in advance and everything. So um, I've been a minor part of this, just watching pretty much in awe of how it came together. So this is all about community and bringing community together. This was an opportunity for voices to be heard, amplified, stories, um, to build each other up. And we're starting small, and we're hoping to expand. We know that there are many more stories out there that need to be heard, other people encouraged. And it's just been a beautiful, beautiful event of people coming together. Mm -hmm. um, Brockton has the distinguishment of having the largest African-American community, and we wanna show you the beauty of this community. If there are other authors who you know of that you would like to be featured um, please feel free to get in touch with us, reach out um, through our Facebook page or through our um, email. I'll give you Leona so she can give you the details specifically. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, you know, before I give details, I wanted to just, I mean, all of the authors that we've had here today have been wonderful, but I have to give a shout out to these young authors that are here today. There is a table with about five or six young people, I think as young as nine years old, that have written books. This is amazing. And as Kavana said, this is what community is about. We need to support these children. You know, um, Brockton has a goal of reaching 90% proficiency in reading. Well, we want it to be 100%. You know, so that's part of what inspired us here today as well. Um, but yeah, there's just some amazing people in this room, and I just, I'm looking forward already to next year. Yes, definitely. Um, so, and if people want to get in touch with me, they can uh, send me an email. It's leonamartin89 at gmail.com. Um, and I, I will respond. <laughs> 
Okay, thank you. Thank you.